This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Investigating the death of an infant at an apartment complex. A search warrant application indicates that on Tuesday they found a deceased baby in a trash bag inside a trash can outside the residence. It indicates a man called them to say he found his girlfriend in a pool of blood the day before, called an ambulance, then discovered remains in a closet, panicked and disposed of them before calling police. Police say the death investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile, local police say a 46-year-old woman is dead and her 20-year-old son is the main suspect. Jill Little of Liberty, Missouri was found dead in a home on Glendale Road near Brentwood Drive. Her son, Austin Little, had apparently left the house before police arrived, but he was found and arrested a short time later. He's being held on a million dollars bond while the investigation continues. Meanwhile, another local mother is reflecting on her own pain as she continues a mission to comfort others who've lost loved ones to violence. Rosalind Temple founded the anti-violence group KC Mothers in Charge after someone killed her son on Thanksgiving Eve nearly 10 years ago. Today, Kansas City Mothers in Charge handed out gift cards to families still grieving their loss to help with their Thanksgiving meals. They have lost someone this year. That one person, the child or loved one is not the table this year. It's hard for them to move past it. The group was able to give away 50 gift cards for families who's who lost loved ones. Just this year, 133 people have been killed in Kansas City, Missouri. Today, several organizations and community leaders came together in an effort to spread holiday cheer while getting more people vaccinated. Hundreds of turkeys were handed out at the Friendship Baptist Church in Kansas City. While people came for food, anyone five and older was eligible for first, second or booster of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. Community Builders of Kansas City was the major backer for today's giveaway. Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your Saturday evening weather updates. Any light rain that you catch outside your front door if you're out and about this evening will be very brief and very light. Expect another batch of rain to be moving in, especially overnight. So 9, 10 p.m. should be dry, but after midnight, a band of light rain will be passing through parts of the metro through 2, 3, and 4 o'clock. But as we head through Sunday morning, especially near sunrise, I think we'll have dry skies, but still a little bit of cloud cover out there. And temperatures by Sunday afternoon topping out in the mid to upper 40s. Have a great night. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.